He said, I came to see a pastor. He said, but I heard a voice clear as day. Yeah. I said, I'm not telling you. Yeah. He said, that's what he knew. He said, straight up in his face. I said, well, you know, because I told him when he came to that doctor, I said, the Lord's got, he's not done with you. There's something that he's waiting on you to do. I don't know what it'll be. Don't have a clue. But, you know, I talked to Tip a little bit about that, and what we're envisioning him seeing that skull on the ground side. Yeah. You know, I don't know his heart. I should have probably asked him. But, yeah, bless him, Lord. But that kind of worries me. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. But on the left hand side, he seen a bright light, and he knows he's clear. And I said, there's a reason you're still here. And I said, you know, bad news, three times, whatever. Bless him, Lord. I said, there's a reason you're still here. And he's an older fellow. He's probably 70 plus. Bless him, Lord. Yeah. I told him, you know, I said, I'm all in the house. I said, if you ever want to talk or you need anything, I said, yeah. Amen. Just come over and knock, you know. Oh, yeah. Amen. He said, same old way. He said, if you want to just talk or you need anything, he said, just come over and knock. I said, what's that? I've just been sitting here and I wasn't going to say nothing, but my heart was about to come out of my chest. I wasn't going to take it home because it's a long time of Wednesday night. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got kicked every day for it. I don't know his heart, but if he's not saved, to pray for him. If he is saved, pray for him anyway. I'm sure he can use it as we all I'm thankful for being here tonight. I'm thankful to both them the people that just have the right time. You know, I've been having a rough day today. You know, what can I help them? He knows what you need when you need it. I don't know why he does anything for me because I'm just I'm thankful that I'm saved. I'm thankful that I got a church to come to. Oh, yes. Churches are getting hard to find. I mean, you can go sit in a building. That don't necessarily make a church. I mean, this guy's going to go make a church. I've been preaching the word, and I've been preaching it. And I'm going to stop right there because I'll say something close to it. Anyway, if you ain't here to preach the word, you need to find some place you're hearing it. Yeah. Yeah. If you or anybody you know ain't saved, yeah. they won't get saved without. That's right. Uh, I am right. 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 as usual. I'm just happy to be here. Thank you for here. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love you too, brother. You know, I'm going to get flowers and then I'll shut up. I was having a rough day the other day at work. I got a text from Brian. Just out of the nothing to tell you, buddy. Thinking about you this morning. Yeah. Yeah. In my heart. Love you. Crying up in a lot. I don't know what it went. In heaven. Yeah. And I do it, and I'm sure everybody here has done it for people, but it seems so small to <laughs> say, hey, this is not hard for me. It can make a big difference. It helps your life this day. I appreciate you, and I love you. Thank you. 
Chris, and that's sing a song out of everything I need. As he was singing that song, this scripture came to me. And I thought well, maybe the day, you know, I might have preached it that day that he saw it. The Lord said, just hold on. Yeah. Last Sunday, I thought well, it might be the day. Yeah. Marty said, well, hold it next Sunday. I said, yeah. yeah. Well, I thought of that about at least tonight when I came in. I said, on the way here, I thought, Lord, and that, maybe the night would be the night. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, and that should, there's some here that need to hear it. Yeah. Uh, there's some that's not here that need to hear it. Uh, uh, so he said, just wait. Yeah. And I thought it might be this morning, right. man, but uh, thank God my brother saw him got filled up. Yeah. Uh, it blessed my heart to see him yeah. out there and swim. Uh, yeah. You know what? The old devil said you need to get jealous. Uh, but I said, no, uh, uh, because you know what? Uh, it was a blessing to me uh, to see one of my brothers get out there and swim a little while yeah. with the Lord. Uh, uh, why is that? Uh, uh, because I love him. Uh, yeah. uh, that, that makes me know that I'm saved in that. Uh, because oh. I uh, if you want to read with us, uh, uh, we'll be in Matthew. A uh, uh, familiar scripture, we all know this. Uh, uh, Matthew, and at the, uh, the 10th chapter. Uh, uh, we're going to start in that about the 21st verse. Just got two. Uh, uh, two verses that have to read. Uh, and Jesus beheld in him, uh, loved him, uh, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest. Uh, Go thy way, sell everything thou hast, and yeah. give to the poor, and yeah. thou shalt have treasures in heaven, and come take up the cross and follow me. And he was sad at this saying, and went away and grieved, for he had great possessions. And that's all we feel like reading. And that's the thought the Lord gave me. And that the Chris sung that song. I have everything I need to make a crossing. I do the night. I have everything I need to make that crossing. But there's some here that like it one thing. You heard the preach word. You felt the Spirit draw you to the altar. You need to told and that you're lost, but yet you lack this one thing. And then I look at the word like, and what does that mean? It means to be with them. It means to be And I thought about them. What is it that they lack? And that's salvation. Of the greatest gift that was ever given in this whole world. This is the greatest thing that can be offered to anybody. It's salvation. Now listen to that. I got to say this morning. I, I was standing right there. Yeah, and there's a service in your garden. That uh, showed me more to go with this. Uh, I don't know why that he made me think of this. Uh, back when we was buying our car. Uh, and they told us about a warranty that we could buy. Uh, and they showed us everything uh, that that warranty covered. Uh, I got to think about the plan of salvation. Uh, and everything that that warranty covers. Uh, it covers grace. Uh, it covers mercy. Uh, it covers everything that you need. But most importantly, it covers the most important thing. And that is your eternity and where you're going to spend it. Yeah. Now, like this one thing tonight, and then what are you going to do with it? Well, you've heard the preach word. You've heard it time and time again. But you can sit there and say it ain't for me. No one in your home that he's the one that's coming your heart. And not. As I said before, my brother Sean, I didn't have to ask Mama. I didn't have to say, Mom, is that him? Is that him? I just thought, oh my Lord. No, I knew, Jeremy, who that was. But because it never made speak like this man. Sat on that back pew, he showed me I was lost. And he told me that I lacketh one thing. That I lacketh one thing, Travis. Listen, I've told you this. From the time that I was two weeks old up until that day, and that's September the 3rd, 1989, I went to church every time that the doors were open, that mom and dad would take me. And then we went every service. And then you know what? Nothing ever changed. Nothing ever affected me. Yeah. And nothing ever had affected me. I went to Sunday school, and the teacher would teach Brian and tell me about Jesus. And they'd tell me about all these things, but nothing affected me. Until that Sunday morning, I sat on that back pew, and he said, Thou like us one thing, Travis. You've heard about me all these years. And now it's time to find out who I really am. Now it's time to find out what all of them that you've heard teach. Listen, I didn't understand it all that Sunday morning. I didn't understand it that. As I've said before, and others have said, I couldn't have quoted you John 3.16. Uh, but I knew 
that I was lost. Yeah. I knew that I lacked one thing. Yeah. I knew and had in my heart that if I'd have died right then, if he'd have came back right then, yeah. hell would have been my home. That's it, what you don't know tonight. To be saved. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Word, yeah. I don't know that. Yeah. I can't quote that word. Listen, I still can't quote it in that. Yeah. I still didn't have, have to look it up. Now there's a girl at work asked me a question the other day. Uh, what a Bible verse was. I had to look it up and see what it was. Yeah. And then uh, she started to ask me questions. Uh, and then one day uh, she asked me about salvation. Come on. She asked me what that meant. Yeah. I didn't have to look anything up, Jeremy. No. I can explain that to her. I can tell all about it. Oh, uh, because I admit the thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't like that thing anymore yeah. that you still have. Yeah, come on, Bless God. Listen, that what all the salvation cover. Listen, it covers that uh, when you lose a loved one, uh, they don't send a comforter. Uh, yes, and then when that, uh, uh, when you don't even know when your next meal's going to come, uh, he'll send somebody. Uh, and he'll give you some money or give you some food. Uh, that's what he'll do for you. Uh, yeah, come on, when you want a friend like this. Yeah, come on. The greatest friend. Uh, that I've ever had. Listen, I've got some good friends in this yeah, church. No I've got some good people that I can call on. No and I can say, hey, I need some help. Y'all believe me, it'll be right there. Yeah. 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 But listen, there's going to be times of that. And then my phone ain't connected. Yeah. And then I won't be able to get a hold of you. I mean, any time, Brother Brian, that I never have to say, Lord, yeah. it's me again. Yeah. Lord, I need your help oh, again. Yes. Lord, I need you. Oh, one more time, I need you to come through and help me. And send a blessing my way. You know what he does every time? Yeah, he'll bless you. What is it you need, son? Yeah. What is it you need this time? What is it you need? Yeah, come on. Oh, but you know what? I've never had to ask for again. I've never once had to ask for salvation again. Amen. Because I'm covered under that plan. Yeah. 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 Listen, man. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. No warranty. We got on our vehicle. I, I believe in that. It's good for five years and so many miles. I can't remember that. I, I bet it's eventually going to run out. Yeah. Yeah. I bet this warranty that I have, it ain't never going to run out. Yeah. Oh, but one day. Oh, it's sealed. Amen. One day. I'm going to crash it in. Oh, Lord. Oh, I'll be yeah. truly doing what yeah. 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 Amen. Come on, boy. Listen, Lord also show me that you can be saved mm -hmm. in like one thing. Yeah. You say I can lose it? No. no. But you can sure lose the joy of it. Yeah. Yeah. You can sure lose the joy of it. You can come in here and, have, and sit in these pews. You can come up here and shake hands and never feel the Spirit. Never know how good it is and have to feel the Spirit. Because it's been so long since you stepped out and asked God to give you something to do. That like us one thing tonight. And that is the joy of your salvation. But you know what you can do? You can ask the Lord to restore it to you. And you know what you might do by doing that? You may be the key to see somebody oh, saved. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I believe with all my heart the reason that God calls so many people to preach yeah. is so that uh, there's going to be some that I can touch uh, that these other men can't. Uh, I bet there's going to be some that they can touch uh, and that I won't be able to. Yeah. And so if God gave you a job to do, it's time to get off your seat and do nothing. Uh, and say, Lord, I'm going to do it. I don't care how bad it gets. I don't care how that hard heart it gets. I'm going to follow God. Because you know what? As I already told you, it's good. And that and that to know that you and they got a friend that you can call on in the middle of the night. That when your family's asleep, and ain't nobody can wait. You won't wake up and talk to you. And when you're driving down the road, and you're on your way to work, and ain't nobody you can talk to except this one right here. Listen, there's a guy today that I've been driving down the road, and I get to where I was going, and I thought, how did I ever get here? Yeah. I just because of that being gone. Yeah. And that, yeah. God bless me. He came to that vehicle. Yeah. He'll do the same for you. Yeah. And that being, you've got to ask Him yes, to sir. restore the joy of your Lord. salvation. Yeah. Oh, boy. Thank you, Lord. I just got to follow God tonight. I just stepped out of here now. 
This is a few weeks, a few months ago. Wow. Well, y'all got your trash bro. How about David? Yeah. Man, how he He was out from Bashima. Yeah. And how he stayed home from the battle. Yeah. Listen, man. How there was a man came to him. He told him about that. That's somebody still on somebody's you lame. Yeah, and you David like got mad. Right. And he, and he said, Who is this? Yeah. And he looked at him and said, Thou art the man. Who is it? I don't know. It's God looking at you tonight. He said, Thou art the man. Thou art the woman. And this message is going to. Whether you be lost yeah. or whether you be backslidden. Yeah. Is he looking at you saying, Thou art. Thou art the one. Thou yeah. art the one that needs to hear this. Thou yeah. art the one that needs to move up. Yeah. Are you the one that, yeah. that lacketh like salvation? On, Are you the one Bless that lacketh like the joy of your salvation? Listen, man. Listen, man. Young man came to Jesus and he said he went away sorrowful. He went away with a heavy heart because he didn't want to give up the things of this world. He was not willing. Listen, that's all they want you to give up yeah. is the things of this old world. Yeah. Why do we want to hold on to them? Why do we yeah. want to hold on to the things of this world and all they do is cause trouble? That's true. All they do is cause heartache. Hey, hey, this old world is full of hate oh, and full of that of sorrow. On, Why wouldn't you want to grab a hold of something yeah. that's full of love, yeah. full of peace, yeah, full of joy, and full of that of a God Almighty that will love you? Yeah. Why wouldn't you want to grab a hold of that tonight? It ain't, but you can go away sorrowful tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah. And you that's saved in that, you can go away sorrowful tonight with you that without your joy. Yeah. And you know what? You'll still get heaven. Yeah. You'll still get heaven. You're just going to get the benefits down here. And you can have all your sin all you want to. Uh, but one day that it's going to come to an end. Yeah. And it's going to cost you more than you want to pay. Amen, brother. It's going to cost uh, you and that more than you want to pay. Yeah. Come on, Look at your loved ones. Yeah. I look at them. Yeah. Is it worth losing them? Come on, Is Trent. it worth that? Let's losing your loved ones. You say God would do that. Sure. God will get His glory. Oh, one way or the other. Amen. And what is He going to take? And then for you to come back and say, Father, forgive me. For you know that I'm sick. He knows everything He's done. Yeah, I must still get it. He's standing there just like the Father did to the prodigal son. Yes. Say, come to me. And he'll hug your neck. Yeah, yeah, and he'll nag you. Thank you, Lord. He'll pick you up. Yeah. Uh, he'll wipe off your sins. Uh, and put you on your feet again. Yes. Yes. You could be the one that's standing in the way of that one's lost being saved. You could be that stubborn block. I don't want to be a stubborn block. Because you know what happens when that? You know what can happen? They can stumble over you and they can fall yeah. right yeah. into the pits of hell. Yeah. Right into the pits of hell. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to be the one that caused that? Listen, I've been there. And then, Sean, you've been there. Yes, Marty, you've been there. And then we all, man, I, I can raise our hand tonight and say we've been there. Right. We've been that stumbling block before. Amen. Hey, but you know what? The good about us is we've come back to him. Hey, Amen. You know what he did? He just loved us. And he forgave us. That's and right. yes, now, yeah. yeah. it took a little bit to get back to where we was at. Yeah. But eventually, we got back to him. Sure we did. We got back to him. Got Lost person, right now, this is the way the Lord showed me. You've got one foot. When now we look at people that's older, we think they got one foot in the grave. Lost person, you've got one foot in hell. You've got one foot already in hell. Yeah. Hey, my interest. And if you die in your condition, it ain't just gonna be your foot. That flame's gonna consume you. How about you now never burn up? Never. And add you and that. We'll look at the one beside you and bite them. I'm yeah. looking for relief. While the one on the other side is biting you. And then you'll be trying to crawl out of there. You'll be gagging yeah. out there. Look for somebody just to pull your parched tongue. You and that will look up and see that what you could have had. I bet you'll say, I wish that I I wish that I I wish that I You know what happened? God won't hear that prayer. Uh -oh. You know what Sean talked this morning about? 
What would this world be like if we didn't have God? That's it, yeah. yeah. If you die and go to hell, you're going to be separated from the love That's of God. It, you will be separated and right. from God Himself. Yes, sir. And you know what? You and I have chosen on your own. Right. Ain't nobody sent you there. You can't say, well, God sent me there. No, because of that, he sent message after message to you. <laughs> telling you, you like it one thing. Right. What is it you like tonight? I never told you. Amen. Salvation. Amen. For what all does that cover? Amen. Thank God. They sang a song. It's under the blood. Yes. There ain't nothing that, that I can't go through that I don't face and it ain't under the blood. Right. That right. he won't bring me out of it. Oh, listen, up. man. I ain't trying to bring up the past. Okay. And that, but uh, listen, the only way yeah, right. uh, that Marty and Marty yeah. went through, they went through, uh, and that because of God. Hey, I'm losing you. a child. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that at all. Uh, but the only reason they was able to go through that was God. Yeah. And knowing yeah. that we're making that. Yeah. Uh, but listen, man. Come on, Trevor. This church is going to be heartbroken if we get the call that you've done. Yeah. And we know yeah. that you're lost. Yeah. Ain't nothing that's we can do about that. then. Great. Ain't a thing we can do about then. Great. But right now, we come in here and we try our best to show you the love of God. Yes. Let's show you how good it is to be saved. Yeah. But you still sit there. Yeah. You sit there and say, well... I might get it next time. I might get it next time. Praise God, they may not be a next time. They may not be a next time. Thank you, Lord. Mom and Aunt woke up that morning. Didn't know she was going to, she woke up with a headache. Didn't know it was going to take her out of here. But praise God, she made it. She was under that plan of salvation. Yes, yeah. And then tonight, if you and I get a phone call, if Tiffany, you do a one call, and you tell them that this old boy's gone, you just don't, don't tell them that I'm dead. No. Just tell them I went on. Yeah. I am in that in the presence of, of my Lord and Savior, and I'm going to praise him. Me and Sean was talking last night, and that we don't truly know how it is to praise God, Jim. Because of that, this old flesh, it gets more out of it. It gets more out of where it can't even do anything else. But the spirit will get it so far, and we can't hardly breathe, we can't hardly move. But you know what? You know what it'll take tonight? It'll take you then. Come. Yeah. Come with us, a little child. Come with us, a little child. Yeah. Why don't you like it tonight? Why do you want to keep putting it on? Bob Kelly, ain't you glad you got it in 1998? Ain't you glad you got it in 1998, brother? Listen, I've been over there at that church when you got saved. And you know what? I can see a mom living there and asking God to save you. Why is that? Because that testimony. Listen, I love and have to hear your testimony. If you ain't ever gave it in a while. Uh, but maybe not. You just don't have a testimony to give. On, it's time that you get one tonight. Amen. Yes. Come on, Travis. Praise God. Thank you. <laughs> Justin, I'd love to hear your testimony, brother. <laughs> Bless him, Lord. 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 Poor old Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. I was raised. I was raised in a church family. Yeah. I remember growing up as a kid. I always asked questions. Bless him, Lord. When I was going to school and have people tell me what I believed in was a truth. And uh, I let that stuff sit in my head. Bless him, Lord. By the time I was eight year old, I started having dreams. Like, I'm called night terrors. And every dream I had, I was every dream I had, I've been turned away from something I didn't know. And after I turned away from that, uh, after I turned away from that, all I could do is I remember in those dreams, all I would feel was pain. And I was looking for somebody to help me. Bless you, Lord. That went on for about a year. 
couple weeks after vacation Bible school. <laughs> Travis was teaching Sunday school. And I don't remember what he did. I don't remember what he was teaching on, but he had brought this little altar into the classroom. Yeah. <coughs> he said, you know, I was, I was wondering, like, well, why did he bring it in here? But I don't know exactly why he brought it in there. Yeah. He, <laughs> he said, so as he brought it in, he said, I just felt like I need to bring this in here this morning. What's your phone, Lord? I don't even remember getting that, but you know, I found myself in that altar and I accepted God into my life. As the years went on, as the years went on, I, I kind of got out of the way of God. I, was, I got out of the world. I was living life completely different than what I should have been. I got back in church for a little bit. I started getting close to God again. I was, I was about a 17 year old, 18 year old. God called me to preach. I read from it, read from it, read from it. I got back out of church. I picked up the same old habits. I figured if I could drink and I could go on and if I could do all these things, I'd forget about what God called me to do. That went on Lord. longer than it should have. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. I had one person. <laughs> I had one person come into my life and they let the light of God shine through them. And it reminded me of the way, it reminded me of the way I wanted to be when I was in church. Yeah. They invited me to church. I got wrong with God that night. I said, I was sitting in a tree stand a couple weeks later and God came to me again and he said, you want to do my will. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. And the devil tried to throw everything he could at me, not the good. Bless the Lord. I told God no. I told God I wouldn't do it. I wasn't worthy enough. And the thought sent me like a ton of rain. He said, if I'm willing to give my son to die for you, you're willing to do You're worthy enough. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. He said, what makes you think you're not worthy? Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. After fighting and fighting and fighting, I announced my call to preach in November of last year. My life has been blessed beyond measure. I got peace. I got peace. And I, got, I can feel the joy. I can feel I got salvation in my heart. I talked about that in the plan of salvation, all that it covers. He covers that peace. Yeah. It covers that. He said he had nightmares. Are you having nightmares tonight? Yeah. Are you laying down your head at night and saying, Lord, I'm praying that you let me wake up in the morning? Because I know that if I don't wake up on this side, I'll wake up in hell. Are you saying that? You don't have to do that anymore. Or you can put all that away tonight. You don't have to like anything tonight. If you just come to him tonight and say, Lord, here it is. And I'm waiting all down at you. Let you take care of it, Lord. I can't do it anymore. I can't do this anymore. I'm tired of liking the salvation that I need. I'm tired of liking the peace that only you can give, Lord. Listen, he and Ed has come your way tonight one more time. And Ed, we've heard it around here and heard it around here. There's, he's going to knock and knock, and one day you're going to turn away one too many times. Yeah. One too many times. And what's going to happen then? You're going to be begging, Lord, give me one more shot. One more chance, Lord. But you know what? He may never, ever give you that other opportunity. Today is the day of salvation. September the 3rd, 1989, was my day of salvation. Yeah. And today is the day of your salvation. Hey, if you Lord. just come to it and just quit wallowing in it, 
quit worrying about it. You know what I'm saying? As he said, it didn't feel worthy. Praise God, you're not worthy, but he'll make you yeah. worthy. Listen, ain't none of us worthy of it. I mean, that he made me worthy when he did save my soul. And then we went to eat and had a pizza in last Sunday. And there were some waitresses there had a shirt on. They said, I'm not perfect. But Jesus thought I was to die for. He never thought you was to die for. Yeah, he he never thought you was good enough but to give up heaven yeah. in all of its glory. And yeah. say, Father, I'll go down there knowing what he's going to have to face. Yeah. Yeah. He knew that what he was going to have to go through. He knew that that they was going to beat him and pluck his beard. They, he knew that he was going to have to die on that old cross. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what he said? He said, I see a six-year-old boy. I sat on the back row of Carter Road. I see a 13-year-old. And that over and that at American Christian Church. I see that a nine-year-old over and that at Montreal. I see that a woman that I'm going to lay on her heart. Oh, Cleo. And I'm going to add that. I tell her and lay on her heart to go talk to Jim's parents. And then ask him uh, so I can take him to church with me uh, so that he can get it. Uh, listen to uh, He's going to give you salvation. He and others want you to not be like the tonight. This rich man went away. As I already told you, sorrowful. How many times have you walked out of this church? Sorrowful. With your head held low, saying, Lord, I knew it was me. I knew it was me, Lord, that you was talking to. But I was just too scared to go. Bless you, Lord. Listen, I t- Trent came and everybody gathered around him. You know what's going to happen when you come to the house? Yeah. They're going to gather around you. Exactly. You know what I think is going to happen? There's going to be something that's going to shout. Yeah. Uh, but you know what else is going to happen? The angels. The angels in heaven are going to rejoice over you and that escaping hell. And you and that are not liking that salvation anymore. They're going to rejoice tonight. Yes. Going back. To you that's law, that's saved, that's backslid. I'm asking it again. Look at your family. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I told you this and that when I preached that message about David, I'll tell you it again. I know I'm the preacher, preached my pastor at the time. I God told me to go preach at church, and I said, Lord, I can't. I can't go do that. And yeah. on Wednesday night, God sent that message to me, Jeremy. I was holding Chloe, a little baby. And God said, if you don't go, this is going to be you. Yeah. I've told you to go preach to these people. Yeah. And that, listen, I ain't nothing special. Yeah. But God yeah. gave me a job to do. Yes, yes, he gave every one of us to do. Ain't none of us that better than anybody else. Yeah. But God told me to go. And listen, that. And then I sit there and I said, Lord, I can't. He said, this is going to be you. Guess where I found myself that Sunday morning? I went down to that church and I preached. You know what, though? I got there and I said, well, they, was, well, they didn't have a pastor. And I sat there and somebody else had an appointment. The boy got up and he said, listen, if somebody else has got something, I thought, well, he's got it. I done got out of it. Then he said, man, if anybody else has got something, I ain't jealous. Just come on with it. And God said, I said, go. And you know what I did? I went. And you know what happened? God set me free. Yeah. I preached. Well, I did it. What he'll happen yeah. to you? How long has it yeah. been since you felt the spirit? Yeah. How long has it been since you and I have felt the joy of your salvation? Yeah. <laughs> I say it again. Yeah. You may be the key to that one being saved. Yeah. You may be the key. They may be looking for you. Yeah. They may be sitting back there saying, Oh, if so and so would sing, I'd go. Oh, if so and so would preach, yeah. I'd go. Yeah. Oh, if so and so would give their testimony, I'd go. If so and so would do this, I'd go. Uh, they may even be saying, If so and so just get right, I'd go not and get saved. Yeah. Yeah. What do you like at the night? Tonight? Yeah. tonight I like it nothing. Uh, I feel pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I have enjoyed my salvation tonight. Yeah. 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 And that I know that I have it. I know the night that I have it. I don't like it tonight. Right. And that 
Thank you, Lord. Uh, Jeremy, you liking anything tonight? <laughs> Are you liking anything? Uh, oh, listen, man, it ain't a shame. Oh, God, uh, and then we've heard in there, uh, uh, Tiffany tell uh, how she was a church member. Uh, I thought she had it. Uh, there ain't no shame in that. Uh, the shame in that uh, is letting pride get in your way. Uh, it's splitting hell wide open uh, uh, when there's a Savior. Uh, Say, come to me. Lord. Listen, ain't nobody here going to make fun of you. No. No. Mike Smith, I believe with all my heart that you've got it. Uh, but in all these years, you've been up here singing and praising God. Uh, and it didn't happen. Found out tonight you didn't have it. You know what we do for you? Uh, we pray for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We pray for you that you get it. Uh, I've been listening tonight. Yeah. Uh, maybe you realize tonight, uh, as I told Amen. you, if I was there six years old. I uh, hadn't been there all those years. Amen. Nothing Travis. ever, nothing ever happened. But God spoke to me. God spoke to me and yes. said, You're lost. Uh -huh. Maybe tonight is the very first time he's ever spoke to you and told you that you're lost. You don't have to put it off. No, no, you don't have no. to go years. No, no. You don't have to go to bed at night wondering if you're going to get up. No. You can get saved right now. You say, I can get saved right now. If you know you're lost and you feel him tugging on your heart, you can be saved right, right. right. Yeah. It's time to that that we quit playing church. It's time to that. Now listen, there's some of us, thank God in that for us, they come in here uh, ready to have church. Yeah. Uh, but they some and that, uh, and they sit back and say, well, uh, I don't really care. Uh, I'm just going to sit and I'm going to play and I'm going to do these things. Uh, and I don't really care. Uh, and that because you know what you're doing, uh, you're telling that lost person, uh, just die and go to hell. Uh, uh, because I don't care nothing about you. Uh, listen, and I've been there. Uh, I've been in that shape where I came to church. Uh, it was doing nothing. I've told you it's my eighth grade year. Uh, I went to church every Sunday. Uh, and then... But I never did anything for God. Right. And I, I just going to church don't mean nothing. Right. Uh, but being part of the church, uh, coming in here uh, and saying, God, what is it you want me to do? Uh, and listen, I've told this before. Yeah. If your job is just to stand and pray for the ones I'm singing, uh, uh, for the ones I'm preaching, right. then just pray with all your yeah. heart. Yeah. Uh, that's because of Sean said this morning, uh, if you do anything uh, without the Spirit, uh, you're being a hindrance. That's right. And you're sending people straight to hell. That's right. Amen. 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 Don't be that step of law. No, but Lord says, Lord, I want to be a stepping stone. Right. Lord, I want to be a stepping yeah, stone. Step Listen, I believe with all my heart. If God truly told us and had to lay down, let somebody step on us, I believe yeah. some of us really yeah, would. I would. I would. Some of us really would. Yeah. And if that's what it took uh -huh. to see you saved tonight, yeah. Yeah. Right. if God told me to do it, I'd do it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but God's just telling me to tell you what you need to do. And that's just step out uh, and say, Lord, I'm tired of liking this. Uh, I'm tired of that of liking salvation. Uh, I'm tired of that of wallowing in it. Uh, I'm tired of that. Uh, I'm worried about where I'm going to go. Uh, I'm tired of that of late at night. Uh, I'm tired of that of driving down the road. Uh, and when the vehicle passes me, uh, I get scared of that. They may swerve over uh, and kill me. Uh, hit me head on and kill me. Uh, listen. I don't think about any of that stuff. I don't worry about it. Not at all. I lay down at night and I say, Lord, either way, either way, Lord. I'm a winner. If I wake up here, I get to spend time with you and my family. Oh, what if I don't? Lord, man. Yeah. Where do I get to wake up? And what I get to see? Thank you, Lord. Jeremy sings a song, God sees me. Listen to that, only the pure in heart, I shall see God. Ah, I get to see God. Well, why is that? Because I got saved. Listen, everybody will see Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is the Lord of lords and the King of kings. Amen. Only the pure in heart shall see God. Ah, a little old nothing. Get to see God Almighty. Face to face one day. Lord. You can do it, not. Yes, you can. It's that easy. It's real easy. It's so simple. But a six year old boy. I didn't understand it all. But I knew one thing that I was lost. And I knew it was him that was speaking to me. And I knew it was him that told me to come. Listen, and I, I've told you this before, and I'm going to remind you tonight. My mouth never opened up. Never opened up and said a word. But he loved me enough, not only to say, 
to tell me I was lost, to tell me to come and get saved. But Jeremy, he loved me enough. Amen. To put the words in my heart. Yeah. For salvation. Yeah. You said, I've never talked to him. I don't know what to say. Listen, he'll give you the words to God. Listen, I can't tell you that to pray to pray because I don't know your prayer. And then if my prayer ain't going to help you. But the Spirit will tell you what to say. Yeah. Listen, I've said this before. i got a good friend. And that he'd heard all his life that Jesus was standing at the door knocking. He went to the altar and all he said was, come in. That's all you got to say tonight. Yeah. Yes, come in. Yeah. He's wanting in so bad tonight. Why? Why? Why would you want to turn away? Yeah. You that saved this backslid. And felt that spirit, why would you want to turn away? Because yeah, yeah, God's yeah. giving you an opportunity to come back to the fold. Yeah. To come back, yeah. quit yeah. that thing with the hogs. To quit walling in this old world. Yeah. That ain't nothing to that but heartaches and sorrow. Yeah. Right. And come back and act to peace and joy. Yeah. Listen, ain't none of us went too far. But he won't accept us back in that. Yeah. I don't care in that what you've done. Yeah. I don't care not. If you like it in that salvation, it's there. Yeah. Yeah. If you like the joy of your salvation, it's there. Right. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is come with a broken heart. Right. Yes. Willing to accept yes. what he has for you. Sure. Willing to say, Lord, I'm tired of this. Right. I'm tired of wallowing yeah. in sorrow and pain. Worried about dying and going to hell. I want that peace that these people have. Yeah. I want to be able to feel what they feel. Yeah. And that Brother Sean said this morning, he couldn't shut up. I thank God for those moments. Yeah. I feel like the same way tonight, Sean. And then listen, why is that? Because of that, I believe it was Jacob. And that is grabbed the holy angel. He didn't want to let go until he blessed him. I don't want to let go tonight until you come and get what you need. I don't want to let go tonight until you get the salvation that's yours for the taking. No, all you got to do is just move yeah. one step and that and that. Yeah. Salvation George tonight. Yeah. Listen, I said this before. I looked at mom and said, I need to go get saved. From the time I said those words that I got off the altar. I don't know how I got there. But I can tell you what took place. And I can tell you now what happened. I got saved. I didn't lack anything anymore. I didn't lack salvation anymore. I didn't go away that Sunday morning sorrowful. I went away with peace and joy in my heart. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And as they call February the love month because of Valentine's Day, knowing we just had that, how great it would be to get the greatest love that's ever been. Listen, I love my wife and I love my children. I do everything I can for them. Sure. But when they were lost, I couldn't do anything for them except pray. That's right. Uh, listen, I, I, when Trent was lost, I, man, was so heartbroken because I couldn't give it to him. Yeah. And because of that, I, I couldn't say, here's son it is. Uh, but listen, tonight, I can't do it for you either. No, no. If I could, I would tonight. I would take it and deliver it right into your lap. But you know what? There's somebody that can give it to you tonight. That's right. All you got to do is be willing. Don't go away. Listen, and that, the Bible says the Lord told him to sell all they had. Come follow him. Yeah. The Lord just wants you to give up this world yeah. and just follow him. Yeah. Just follow him. Yeah. He don't ask much. Oh, no. He don't no. ask a whole lot. Uh -uh. You know what he does and that when we follow him? Listen, you do something for me. And that, I'm going to owe you. I'm going to owe you for that. Just like when I do something for the Lord. He blesses me and blesses me and blesses me. Listen, man, I owe him everything tonight. I owe him my life. Amen. Listen, if he just saved me and left me right there and said, I'm, I'm, you're saved and I'm leaving you, yeah. I still have to love him. Absolutely. I still have to live yeah. for him, Jeremy. Absolutely. But what, but what else he's blessed me with? Oh, yes. This. This family. Listen, man, if you get saved tonight, not only do you get salvation, uh, but you get a family that will love you. Yeah. And you'll get a family that will care for you. You'll get a family that it's already praying for you. Yeah. We're praying for you. You know, I got to thinking, and that, that we're praying for you. has been on our side for a while. 
Uh, but for some reason, I just can't take it down. Uh, why? Because we're still praying for you. Uh, yes. You know what we're praying for? Uh, it should be that one more. Uh, yeah. It should be that one more uh, yeah. that would come and get saved. Uh, listen, it's about to get start getting warm again. Uh, uh, it ain't going to be home until the springtime. Yeah. Uh, and we can fill up the old baptistry uh, and you can get baptized. Uh, uh, but first, you need to get baptized in that with the Holy Ghost. Uh, yeah. And getting that the true meaning. Uh, yeah. And that the true meaning yeah. in that of Christmas. Uh, that true meaning in that of Easter. Uh, that true meaning. Uh, and then of all this, that has salvation tonight. What do you like tonight? What is it you like tonight? Are you going to go away tonight sorrowful? I'm not. Uh, because that I've done what God wants me to do. Uh, if you go away and not sorrowful, uh, it ain't going to be because of that. Uh, it ain't going to be on my hands. Uh, I'm free tonight, uh, uh, but it's going to be on yours. Uh, and I listen, church, and that just because I preach don't mean it's time to go home. Uh, if God's telling you to do something, do it tonight. Uh, as I already said, it might mean uh, salvation for somebody. Uh, it might mean that uh, somebody coming that back to the fold. Uh, so let's just have church uh, and just let go. Uh, uh, because somebody here might like us something huh? and I don't want to leave here huh? until I get it huh? and then listen you're going to keep turning away huh? and the spirit's going to yes. withdraw huh? yes. and then we're going to go home huh? and then you will go away sorrowful tonight when I got saved I didn't know what to say all I couldn't say was thank you I just wanted to say thank you and thank you and thank you because I didn't know what to say but I was thankful that I didn't have to die and go to hell I got to go to heaven Amen. one day I'll get to worship God in heaven it's the best way I've ever done Bless your heart, Lord. God bless you, girl. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Lord in heaven.
You don't have to worry about nothing. Try it. You'll take care of it. Yes, all this year.